Today I'm going to do a full breakdown of Grey Skull LP, the programme structure, strengths, weaknesses and also a little bonus content that you can apply to your training, whether you're going to run the programme or whether you're not. The structure of Grey Skull LP bears a large resemblance to a lot of beginner programmes. It is very similar to starting strength. Now, it does have some of the same structure. It alternates pressing and bench pressing, but does have a small difference. It does put a deadlift day in the middle of the week and removes one of the squatting days. A unique benefit that is basically the crux of the programme, rather than three sets of five and adding a five pound jump every time you can complete all three sets, it adds in plus sets. Now, what is a plus set? A plus set is an AMRAP. As many reps as possible within a set. You begin with your first two sets, just hitting the regular five repetitions. And once you get to your final set, you go all out getting as many reps as possible. If you can get beyond five, if you can get plus five at the end of your set, you can move the weight up next week. Now, let's get into the strengths because this is where the strengths actually lie in this programme. With this approach, you modulate volume and intensity really well. A common problem when people run statically set programmes like starting strength or any kind of real beginner programme is that they have a rep range. Maybe three sets of 10, three sets of five, three sets of eight. But the problem and the crux of the issue there is that they stay the same. So eventually a point in time will occur where you plateau. You may start with a 60 kilo bench press for five, five and five, go up the next week, 62.5 kilo, five, five and five, you go up to 65, five, five, and three, and then you've not really got anywhere to go for there. You can drop the weight 10% and try again, and you maybe get five, five, and five. Climb back up, get five, five, and three, and then you're spinning your wheels, going nowhere, stuck, plateaued. Whereas the benefit of a program like Grayskull LP is that if you stall, for instance, you find yourself in that boat, you've progressed the last two weeks, and on this week, you can't hit the reps. You're only hitting something like five, five and three, five, five and four, and you just don't think you can get there. You have the option to drop down 10%, accrue more volume on your plus set, really push into the weeds on your plus set, and then feel that benefit when you come back. And chances are, if you do that enough times, you will have accrued enough volume to break through your plateau. You know, on these novice beginner programs like starting strength, strong lifts, whatever, you stay static. There's only one type of progression and that is raising the intensity every time. It's effective, but it'll only get you so far. But when you can manipulate volume and intensity up and down, you can find that you start to climb up and bust through your plateaus. Another strength of this program is that it's simple. The progression is simple, it's easy to remember, and it's easy to quantify. There is not a lot of variables that will throw you off. You've got a really simple way of progressing. You only really progress by one means, and that's on your plus set. And the exercises mostly stay the same. You're just rotating through a handful getting better at the skill and then also training harder and getting that kind of muscular strength as well as that neurological adaptation. You don't have to account for, well, I done trap bar deadlifts last week really heavy and this week I'm doing a uh, Romanian deadlifts and then next week I'm doing a uh, regular conventional, then I'm doing sumo. It's all the same, so it can all really be progressed in a simple manner. Nothing needs to really be tracked extensively or taken in mind. You don't have to take deloads or reloads or a 
volume accumulation week to a top set week to all the kind of moving parts are kind of removed. It's stripped down to what you basically need. And it's something that's really good because you can just turn your brain off and just try and go as hard as you can. And that is the easiest way of progression. If you're someone that finds yourself often, you know, weaning into the science-based stuff, really thinking about, well, this study said that, and that study said that EMG activation leads to this, this program shows that optimal can sometimes be the enemy of good. Is this program the smartest program in the world? No. Could you manipulate some things to make it better? Yes. But you could run this program indefinitely and see about 98% of your full body life potential. Uh, I really do believe that uh, when it comes to strength, when it comes to size. I think that if you are someone that's really busy, that doesn't want to learn about programming, that doesn't need to sit and watch countless YouTube videos, you could probably just go away, benefit from running something like Grayscale LP for like eight months and come back better for it. So if I like this program so much and I think it has so many strengths, where are the weaknesses? The weaknesses that I promised in the intro. Well, sometimes strengths and weaknesses are not opposites. Sometimes if something is a strength, in turn, it, by the very same measure, can be a weakness. If you are a competitive power lifter, if you are someone that dreams of running the bodybuilding circuit, this program isn't for you. There isn't enough variation. It doesn't get down into the nitty gritty. It isn't really long term in its programming. Everything is really thought about kind of within like a monthly basis, real kind of micro cycle stuff. There is no real macro cycle. There isn't a 12 week phase where you work on volume accumulation and then a transmutation phase and then a phase where you really try and lift as heavy as possible. There is no kind of base and peak to this program. You don't really broaden your base. You don't really narrow into a peak for peak performance. You just find yourself kind of floating around in the kind of general space. If you're someone that just lists for fun, it is a good program. I would say it's a probably a really good program for 90% of lifters in the gym, to be honest with you. But I definitely see there is definitely application for this not to be used. If you're someone that is advanced, a bit more experienced, that requires more volume intensity, a bit more specific approach to their training, this will be far too simplistic and you'll probably stall or overtrain or undertrain certain things. So in that regard, it doesn't work. Another thing is in the kind of bodybuilding approach, there isn't much for the arms or the calves or the abs or whatever. There isn't like a lot of variation. It's really compound heavy, this program. And you could definitely create a slightly unbalanced physique. You know, you could probably have smaller lats, things like that. So definitely this program could be taken with a pinch of salt in that regard. The weakness of this program is its strength. It's simple and sometimes it could be far too simplistic for someone. If you ran it really long term, I think you would see great results, probably better results than everyone that's out there striving for the optimal program. Um, but if you don't learn how to program long term, if you don't think in your training in the terms of three months, six months, 10 months, 12 months, you are leaving gains on the table, be that in strength or size. And um, when you don't take the time to learn that, you then can't utilize that. So it is good, it is a good program, I suppose, if you want to keep your head in the sand and not get too bogged down in the intricacies of training, of sports science, of programming, it's really good. But I think when you keep yourself kind of 
ignorant of that, I suppose, you are definitely leaving something out. Now, my experience in this programme was actually really positive. I had done a kind of much higher volume approach, much higher exercise selection approach to training. And then I ran this programme. Now, what I can tell you is that in that time, I managed to add 20 kilos to my deadlift, 15 kilos to my squat, and 10 kilos to my bench press. I learned many lessons running this programme. And this is the bonus content. I'm going to tell you how you can take lessons away from this programme, whether you run it or not. This is a really good programme uh, that I've kind of used aspects of on some of my clients um, when it comes to progressing from the beginning. I'll have them on something really similar to starting strength. Now, not with the emphasis on the fives, but I have them do a couple of different movements. Maybe something kind of like this. And as you'll see, there's a bit more variations, but you'll see that the reps are also a little bit different, a little bit higher, because I think it is good to start people off with a bit wider base. And I think the start strength rep range is a little too strength heavy for the kind of general public. And what I've found is when I use that tool of plus sets, I can just reactivate those newbie gains and they can maybe just be running a simple progression for weeks on end, for months, just progressing week to week with that type of formula. It's good for bringing out the best in people because I think with this program, with something like an AMRAP, it really means that someone is constantly testing how much can I do in a set? How much work can I achieve? And I find that that's the number one aspect of getting someone who maybe trains at best an RP6 to being someone that trains all the way up to failure. The main takeaway that you can add to your program, regardless of whether you're going to do something like Grayskull LP or whether you're going to do something of your own, if you've been running something quite volume heavy or quite intensity heavy, this program is kind of the perfect reset for you. If you find that you've been trying to throw everything in the kitchen sink at your training, you'll find that with this program, actually getting back to basics and making kind of effort your main progressing factor, you'll be able to win, I suppose, win the love back for lifting, but two, see some results just from simplifying it. Sometimes I think people get too complicated with programs and this is the exact opposite, the complex. So whether you do this program or something similar, sometimes the best thing for a plateau is to actually just get right back to basics and make effort the number one factor when it comes to lifting. So let me know down below if there's anything that I missed, anything that you disagreed with, anything you agreed with, or even just your experience running this program, just leave me a little message down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And let me know, is there any other programs that you would like broken down and reviewed? And if you'd like to help the channel out, please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one.